All right, so my name is Achu, I'm from Ghana, and I want to introduce Bitsika. So people in America can think about Bitsika as Venmo or Cash App for Africa. So everybody knows that sending money to Africa through traditional ways like Western Union on all apps, you know, it, it can be slow, it can be expensive, or it can be both. Even innovations like Libra do not help the story because, you know, number one, Libra does not direct channels to African currencies. You need to be part of an exchange to get the Libra tokens and users without smartphones or bank accounts are generally more or less left out. So Bitsika wants to save the day. So Bitsika is basically an app that helps Africans receive money from anyone on earth immediately in local currencies and at no fees. So the, the platform is very simple to use. So you can basically, anywhere you are in the world, any country you are in the world, if you have a debit card, a credit card, or even Bitcoin, you can load money up onto the site and the recipients in Africa receive money in local currencies on their mobile phones in, you know, with MTN mobile money or in PESA, depending on the country where they are. So a lot of startups or companies have tried to solve the, this problem, but their solutions have usually been very horrible. So someone might ask, what makes Bitsika different? So there, there are very simple reasons why. So number one, as I said, we have absolutely no fees. So user receives 100% of the money you send them. We use the exact market exchange rates you see on Google. So again, 100% of the money gets to the end receiver. And I, I, I think so far we are the only app I've seen that uses the exact Google exchange rates. So we also offer Africans the opportunity to store money long-term in US dollars. And this will be a great hedge against horrible African currencies. And also anyone on earth can send money to Africans, no matter where they are at any time. So um, there's, you know, the app is very user-friendly, very simple to use, but there's a lot of complexity that happens in the background as far as sending money between countries. And that helps with the magic of, that's done with the magic of Bitcoin and also stable coins, but the users don't see all that complexity. They just enjoy the app and its services. Okay, I guess after all this, you can more or less think about Bitsika as Libra, but for those who really need it. Yeah. Thank you, Atsu. Um, so some questions. So, um, you know, what's the current progress? Is the app is live in the app store? Is that right? uh, yeah, so, so we did like a, a web app version, like to test it out. And okay. so we got a good uh, reaction. So we are building the Android and iPhone app, which will be out in August. We got some funding from Binance and uh, Microtraction, which is in Nigeria. Binance, crypto exchange in China, Microtraction in Nigeria. So we got funding from these people and we are releasing the, the actual mobile apps next month. Awesome, okay. And um, so j just have some kind of you know, d technical questions. So our are you using a cryptocurrency under the hood? I mean, because you, you compared it to Libra, are, have you, do you have your own crypto or what are you exactly doing? Are you using a stable coin underneath? Yeah, so mostly stable coins and Bitcoin. So that, that would have to be with, uh, have to do with moving money, you know, be, between the countries. So for example, we use the service called Paystack. I don't know if you're familiar with them. So mm -hmm. that's how we get, yeah, that's how we get money from any country using debit card. So all money literally, passes through Nigeria okay. and we can just instantly buy crypto and then move it to any other country we need to move it to Interesting. as quickly as we can. Yeah. So okay. it's, there's a lot of like, you know, back and forth that happens in the background, but the users never see that. They just enjoy, you know, the services. Yeah. That's great. So um, you mentioned no fees now, like, you know, as I'm sure you're aware, like lots of payment systems um, have, you know, significant, especially in crypto, there's rates of fraud, there's rates of, you know, various attacks on the system and so on. Um, you know, and, and often fees are are there as you know, sort of compensate even you know, aside from the profit margin. Um, so, so how, how are you thinking about that? Yeah. So basically, you know, Bitsika will initially serve mostly as you know a way to get money from abroad to Africa, but we are also very much encouraging internal transactions because since the money is stored in U.S. dollars, that would be like a very good way for Africans to store their money. So we're just basically going to build more third party APIs applications so that people can just use Bitsika US dollar credits as a way of spending money in Africa generally. So as, as long as the money, like a, more people join the application and a lot of money get, just gets stored on the application, we're going to have you know, a lot of money to use for, well, most is going to be stored in stable coins, but we would have enough money to make you know, smart investments in other cryptocurrencies to, you know, 
to, to, to make some profits and also hedge against you know fees. And that's basically how Facebook Libra also is, is, is trying to make money as well and trying to make profits. I see. So, so what you're saying is that um, the float, like, you know, the, the money that's stored with them, but yes. how you make money. Yes. And then yeah. that's what you will use to pay down the costs associated with fraud and, and so on. Yes. So um, we're just going to encourage more people to just keep their money on the platform and just spend between each other. Okay. Um, I think it's, it's worth, you know, you may have already done this, but if you haven't, it might be worth doing a financial model on that. And the reason is, you know, often PayPal and others have found they have to get to very large scales of, of money um, being held before the interest on, on the holdings becomes significant enough. For example, if you have a 2% interest, you, you need like $50 million to make a million dollars a year. Um, so, uh, so just, just something to, you, you, the key question is how do your fraud rates compare to that? Um, you know, so something to think about. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think, I think a lot of the, I learned a lot of the ideas at the product level are right in the sense of, you know, just try to get the money in and, and, and so on. Um, you may already have encountered this, but I think your, your biggest challenges are going to be the, you know, the local fiat integration, like with various currencies, maybe Paystack takes care of that for you. And then also you mentioned using Bitska in Africa. So merchant integration or, or what have you. Um, and maybe you can use local APIs uh, to, to take care of that, but maybe you put some thought into that. Yeah, so actually in Africa, it's, it's very, very easy to go, uh, to change crypto into fiat currencies. Huh. So there's okay. a bunch, yeah, it's, it's like probably the easiest place in the world to like liquidate your crypto. Really, why is that? Uh, that's, that's surprising to me. Why, why, why well, because well, the government basically doesn't care about crypto that much. So people mm -hmm. are, uh, are free to, you know, exchange amongst themselves very swiftly. And we have a lot of peer-to-peer uh, -peer payment systems based on fiat currency. So like M-Pesa, I don't know if you're familiar with M-Pesa, yep, yep, yep. and mobile money. Yeah, so basically, if you if you are, let's say, in Kenya, I just send you your Bitcoin, you send me, uh, you know, M-Pesa credits, and then that's it. And that's that's yeah. how liquidation is just very simple. So at, at least it's liquidation at small, relatively small dollar values, because, you know, liquidation... No, no, like I've done, I've done... Uh, so, so Binance invested in us with, with crypto and we had to liquidate like very huge sums and mm -hmm. I've been able to do that very easily. Like within a minute or two, I could, I could liquidate about $60,000 into local okay. currency. That, yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Huh. Yeah. That's, that, that is, uh, that's really cool. Um, okay. Uh, so, uh, sounds, sounds awesome. Uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, interested in seeing what happens. All right. Thank you.